As a quick little note before this video starts, WARNING! There will be gameplay showing while I'm talking, so if it is of a game that you do not want to see, spoilers or anything of, then I suggest you do not watch the video while listening. You have been warned! Hi, welcome to the questions and answers. Um, I'm actually recording this after I recorded the next half an hour, so uh, some things I say later might not make sense, but right now I'm remaking this intro to say that you can still ask some questions on the main video, which is probably linked in the description or something, if you're quick. Because I'm, I thought I was actually going to do this all in one video, but it turns out I'm going to do them in like two or three videos because I take too long to answer and it goes on for a long time. So yeah, you can still go and ask questions if you're quick to fill in some empty stuff. Yeah. QUICK! Well, no, you've probably got like a few days. Anyway, let's get on with this. Right. First and most importantly, oh, oh, rejects. Everyone knows who that is. Question one. How did your belly get to be so big, creamy, and sexy? By years of practice and care given to it. Feeding it only the best food for dragons. Lots of meat for the bigness. Lots of... Um, uh, I don't know how it got creamy. I probably... Oh yeah. I fell in a vat of tasty cream when I was young and it got it got fused with my belly scales yeah. and sexy massages by myself and laying on some shiny treasure all the ways to get a nice healthy good looking belly and then you came along and made it even better so you yeah. two what's your secret to being the most beautiful dragon by being a dragon it comes with the territory or something. But I am no simple dragon. I am the fat. Rah. Rah. That's my secret. And lots of laying around lazily eating. And number three, do you love me? Yeah. And that's why this belly belongs to you now. Right, okay awkward stuff out of the way now, everyone can stop being uncomfortable. Next! No, it's not awkward, it's just me being giving a public display of affection, because that's how much I love my fluff. Right, next. X-COD kills! Oh no, Call of Duty. <laughs> Tasty game. Well, not in my opinion. Anyway, when will you be doing Dead Space 3? And do you like walruses? Actually, no, I'll just ask one question at a time. When will you be doing Dead Space 3? The only time I will ever be doing Dead Space 3 is if EA gives in and brings it to Steam or something. Or if it ever becomes not Origin exclusive because I have no intention of using EA's Origin because EA are twonks. Yes, because I'm trying to keep this PG so I don't want to use the actual words that I'm thinking. And it's not just because of Origin, it's because of, well... No, I'm sure most people are aware of Origin's ways. Yeah. It's just sad I don't feel like supporting Origin. Wait, did I say Origin's ways? I mean EA's ways. Yeah. I don't feel like supporting EA. And do you like walruses? No, because they have a dodgy moustache, I think. Are those the ones that have moustaches? Let's have a look on Google Images. Walrus. Walrus. Yeah, they have moustaches and it's scary. And their faces are... Ah, I don't want to see. So no, because they're fat and scary. Just like me. Oh. Next person. But, wait, hang on a sec. i got to... No, I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay, next person, Funny Mahem. If you couldn't eat soup with a fork, would you eat it with a spoon? What? I can't eat soup with a fork because it falls between the 
The prongs, I guess they're called. I always eat soup with a spoon anyway. I don't get it. I feel like it's some kind of trickery question and it's trying to be... Oh, there's also another question up there. Spread it out by another person. How confusing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's trying. this question is trying to trick me and fudge up my mind. But... I'd eat it with a... No, even if you could eat soup with a fork, I wouldn't eat it with a fork because I don't like forks because they poke and it might accidentally jab me in the teeth or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm confused and that's the end of that question. And the next question is... Oh, and you gave me a choice of two. Would you like a Maham Dino Mud Cake? I don't even know what a mud cake is, but a cake that tastes of mud does not sound very pleasing. But... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to Google search that as well, because I know a mud cake is a thing. Mud cake. Ew, it just looks like a... No, it just looks like a chocolate cake. I didn't get it. Google. What is a mud cake? Geophagy. What? Is the practice of eating earthly or soil-like substances such as clay and chalk. Ugh! Fuck no! It's trying to keep it PG, sorry. I don't want to eat earthly stuff. It's gross. What kind of sick question is that? <coughs> anyway. Right. Next. Kit171. Where is Waldo? You don't want to know. Well, you see, one day a colorblind bumblebee came along and saw him, and it just happened to be a giant bumblebee and a queen at that. So it snatched him up by stabbing her stinger. No, wait, that kills bees. Oh, well, I don't care. It doesn't in this world for some reason. So she stabbed it through him to pick him up and take him home. And then, we don't want to know. So that's where Waldo is. Yeah, next. Body Connor 331 Paul, what's your opinion on the new PlayStation? Well, I don't really have one. Because I don't even have a PS3 yet. I mean, who doesn't have a PS3 these days? Me. Um, but yeah, I'm not really bothered, to be honest. But I'll probably be bothered when I see some games on it that I care about. I don't I don't know any of the games that are going to be on it yet. But, yeah. I haven't even seen what it looks like. I haven't seen... No, I did see something, actually. Some kind of tech demo. Or something. Where it showed some weird kind of golem thing made of many parts and it likes to fall apart and stuff, so it's like it's showing off like the the PS4's capability of moving objects. I don't know, but other than that I don't know anything about it, so I don't really care at the moment. I mean, I'm sure it'll be cool in in whatever way. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be cool. But yeah, I don't even have a PS3, so I'm not really looking into it. Yeah. Next person, Transfusy with the ca Transfuse with a capital second S just to be special. Get it? S S Spe no, anyway. Who is your favourite YouTuber that you watch on a regular basis? Um I don't really know. It it changes, it depends what the person's uploading at the time. Like at the moment Well no, not at the moment actually. For a while it was Rowan Mithril. I don't know if he's in my like channel showy offy box on my channel at the moment but I'm sure most people here know who Rowan Mithril is or most people probably don't actually I don't know but basically some kind of Scottish dragon person who does who's mainly known for his Mega Man perfect runs but yeah because recently he was uploading a blind playthrough of Eternal Darkness and that was enjoyable but since that's over now I don't really know I went through a phase of being addicted to Kikoskia and 
he's still in, he's currently enjoying a Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition playthrough, which is enjoyable. But I've kind of gone out of the addiction phase now, so I don't really know. I guess maybe Halloween four five four five when he uploads his Project Zero stuff. That's mainly what I look forward to at the moment, I think. And also, um, by this person, by Transfu, yeah, just to keep it not confusing, I'm just going to read out both questions at once to start with. And which YouTuber did you watch before you got started on making videos? Well, the main one was Cloud8745, if that was even the number, I don't remember anymore, I think that was it. And I'm sure everybody knows who that is. But yeah, I got into his videos, it was mainly his I Wanna Be The Guy videos. And then that made me decide I wanted to try to do something like that. So, that's where my I Wanna Be The Guy playthrough started. So yeah, I guess I started because of him, but... Well, no, I don't know, actually. Because I think I actually recorded myself playing some fear before I started watching him. I don't remember. Yeah, I think my first ever video, the Paul's Gaming episode 1 thing, which was recorded with my phone camera, of playing Fear, I think that was before I even started watching any LPs, so I'm not sure. I mean, you could look at it and see when it was uploaded and say, no, that was uploaded way after Cloud started, but I mean, it was recorded many years, maybe, I think one or two years before this channel was made. I don't know, but yeah, he's pretty much the main reason I started. I also watched Louis Prower, as in L-U-I-Z Prower, um, back in the day. But mainly influenced by Cloud. Cloud! Cloud! Right, next person. Punk5651. What do you want, punk? Do you like cake? Hell yeah! Fudgy, chocolatey, creamy, whipped cream, yum, yum, yum. Emphasis on the chocolatey fudge, please. As in double. I want. Like. Ghetto. Oh. Mm. Next person. Glazed infants. What are your thoughts on today's games? Do you think they've become overly casualized? Also, will you be my Oni Chan? Ugu Squiggle? Well, I'll answer the second one first. I am no. Wait, I have to recheck what Oni Chan means. Oni is some kind of demon, and I wouldn't mind being a demon. Oni Chan. Ooh, someone else's older brother. No, I'm already someone's older brother, but but that but she's like old enough to take care of herself, so I don't have to be all like older brotherish and look after e. But I don't want anyone who I have to look after, so I don't want to be an older sibling person. I also don't like, or well, I don't much like those Japanese thingies, those ways of. I don't know. Nee chan and all that that's just really weird stuff to me so it would sound it would be displeasing if I was referred to as an Oni chan because I'm not kawaii now the first question what are your thoughts on today's games do you think they become overly casualized I don't really know I personally no I don't know I, I don't really think in the end I don't really think games have changed all that much overall because, I mean, back in the day, there were... Well, no, I guess back in the day, there were more difficult games, but I think that was more on, like, Nintendo systems than anything, maybe. But I've always mainly been a PC gamer, so I'm used to things like Doom and Tomb Raider, and they were never all that difficult. But, I don't know. Casualized. <sighs> On one hand, I can see what people are getting at when they say games today are like too easy or too aimed at younger audiences and stuff, so they make it easier and stuff with oh and stuff and stuff with countless checkpoints and 
all sorts of things like that. But I personally don't. I'm not bothered by casualization because I personally play games to have fun, and I'm not like a big enjoyer of challenge. Actually, this might have to go in multiple videos because this is actually going on for a while. Probably two. But at the same time, sometimes I do like a nice challenge, but overall I think casual gaming is fine. But then you still get some difficult games today, and most games include a difficulty selection, so if anybody doesn't like it being too casual, then they can up the difficulty. Unless I'm completely misunderstanding what you mean by casualizing games. But, I don't know. But basically, I don't really have a problem with games these days, except for some certain things, but I don't really know. Yeah, anyway, next person, Kazgiatar. Yeah, what's your favourite food? What's your favourite tea, coffee? And if you could only play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Right, favourite food? I always say pizza, like pepperoni. Yeah, because pepperoni is just unbeatable. But, but again, it. De well, what do you mean again? I mean again because I said this earlier. It depends on my mood. But of course, that was to a different question. But anyway, with food also, it depends on my mood. Like one day. No, no, I'm just going to say pizza because, well, pretty much every other food that I can think of does depend on my mood. I pretty much always enjoy pizza. I'm always in a pizza mood, it doesn't matter. So yeah, pizza. Nom! Favourite tea, coffee? I don't know. The tea or coffee variety of tea and coffee. Because I don't really know anything about different brands. We've pretty much just always had the same kind of tea bags. Tea bag, hung <laughs> you. And, um, same brand of coffee. I think we have Nescafe. What the hell kind of hmm and tea I think we have PG no at the moment we have Yorkshire something and I think we used to have PG tips but I really don't know it's the difference I haven't really tried enough different brands to care or to notice if I can only play one game I don't know I'd probably say Doom since it's my favorite game but yeah I don't know I guess I probably would. It would be between Doom and Dead Space anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best answer I can give, I'm afraid. Next person. C. C. Graham 6. Yeah. Paul, I've always wondered what you mean when you say slipper during commentary. Must be a British thing since I've heard other Brits use it. I need an explanation, please. Well, since you asked so nicely, <gasps> slipper is footwear made to keep your feet warm. But the reason I say it is a very different matter entirely. Oh dear, here we go. You see, slipper. No, it doesn't have any meaning really. It just like, basically it started in the first virus bloke game when for some reason when the final boss dies, he goes, No! I'm a bit dead now, Slipper. So I don't know why he says Slipper, but it just kind of stuck with me. And now, pretty much every time in a game when I say, He's a bit dead now, or I'm a bit dead now, or something's a bit dead now, I just add a Slipper on the end as a reference to my own game. <laughs> because no one else references me so someone's got to uh. so yeah that's it that's the slipper now everybody knows knows next person dummy say what or dummies a what I don't know dummy say what what do you say I don't know if you could punch one person in the face who would it be and why you <laughs> no probably not I don't know I'm not a violent person, but maybe um, Chuck Norris to show how flimsy he really is. No, I don't know. Whoever decided that 
No, I don't know. Whoever decided that people have to work to make a living because I don't want to work because the point of life is to enjoy yourself and what's the point in working? I mean, what's the point in living if you're just going to be working for the majority of your life which isn't fun? <laughs> yeah, what's the point of living? Okay, that's the end of this video. I'm going to kill myself now. Bye. No! And that answered the why as well. Because, yeah. How much wood would a woodchuck... Oh, no. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yum, yum. Let me just look up that famous quote here. Monkey Island woodchuck quote. There it is. A woodchuck would chuck no amount of wood, since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing, actually, because Kikoskia gave this exact same response to someone asking that on his questions and answers recently. So, I'm going to give my own answer. How original of me. By the way, that's not supposed to be like a... What has happened? That's not supposed to be like an insult to Kikoskia for reading off a quote from a game, because it's a good quote. Anyway, um... He would probably chuck a lot of it, because the world is full of idiots, and there's a lot of idiots to throw wood at. I mean, chuck wood at, sorry. So there's a lot of faces to smash in. With a smash! Crash! Bash! Plonk! <laughs> splinters in the eye! Bam! Wham! Whack! Bosh! Poof! Fart! This is a Batman battle scene by... by me. Yeah. And the next question, what is the most retarded question you've ever seen or heard? This one! No, that's just a very typical response right there. Probably, what's your favourite game, obviously, because who doesn't know that my favourite game is Doom? I mean, seriously! Right, next person. Lex rocks the block. What? Why are you so insanely badass? Because... That is the way of the world. The world just would be... Imbalanced if I was not badass. You saying I got a badass? Well, I'm sorry that I eat so many beans. No. But yes. But no. Yeah. I keep the world in balance with my sheer amount of awesomeness. So you better be thankful. Why does the fucking sound recorder keep... St sorry, PG. Um, next person. Worst case Ontario. One, two, as in twelve. Worst case Ontario, twelve, yeah. Forgive my lack of creativity, but I think my question is going to be a, a future game playthrough question. Yes, will you be playing any more side-scrollers like Yoshi's Island? Oh, Yoshi. Specifically Donkey Kong Country, Ew. Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins, and perhaps most importantly, any Legend of Zelda games, A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, or the original. I'm actually inserting this bit of the recording later, so, um, wait because I forgot to answer specific the specific games. Donkey Kong Country, I don't like Donkey Kong. I don't think I say as I've never played any of them, but I don't have any of them and I don't know if I want to play any of them. I might try them someday and then I might be like, whoa, I want to record this, but as of now, I don't know. Super Mario Land 1 and 2 are both recorded and uploaded on Piece of Pie Live, my other channel, because I did it on a live stream. Uh, so, yeah, I won't be doing them here. But they're over there if you want to see them. I think there's something wrong with the videos though. They might be a bit skippy. I don't remember for sure. But yeah, they're there. And that's it. Return with the original recording, please, Lou. Well, I certainly love side-scrollers. Especially 2D one. Wait, those are side... Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, it all depends on... What the hell was... Um, hello? What the hell is going on? Oh! Alien! Oh god, I think my monitor's about to explode. Oh shit. Hang on. Uh. Scary. Okay, I'm a bit scared because my monitor was being buzzy. So I turned it off. And now it's back on. I'm scared. But wait, um. I just noticed. There's more to the question. He just wants to clarify his question and say, I'm asking both if you will and if you could play those games as a request. Also, what kind of serials do you... Okay, wait. Uh, actually, yeah. Well, first of all, I'll say that I don't do requests. 
just I just take suggestions and like consider them for future because I just requests I think just wouldn't be a good idea because it would mean I feel ob obliged or obligated or something to do a certain game whether I like whether I would like to play the game or not so yeah I just like to record whatever games I'm in the mood for at the time but yeah I do like platformers side scrollers and stuff so I will record any that I can think of and that I think I'll enjoy or something but trouble is the trouble is knowing what to record or thinking of things to record because I've recorded most of the stuff that I know and that I like but I do have a big list of games to consider recording so hopefully there's some in there but um and yeah some some Zelda games are possible not many probably but pardon me I've been considering the first game for quite a long time so someday Zelda Land will arrive but before then Skyward Sword is on the horizon and um oh he's also gonna add Kirby games to his request question speaking of that yeah I'd forgotten about Kirby I guess I have I think Kirby and the Crystal Shards or something something like that on Virtual Console which I will probably record someday beyond that I would like to record some more Kirby games but I haven't really been in the mood for Kirby for a long time but someday probably and the second question what kind of series do you generally have in England I think you have some different ones and what's your opinion of Americans and our accents lol he said lol not me well, I did say lol just now because I read it but ow oh. well the cereals thing I don't know I think we pretty much have the same kinds of cereals to some extent I know you have Lucky Charms and we don't bastards oh and you also have um, Reese's Puffs which are tasty and we don't I think but we have things like Cocoa Pops Frosties which I think are frosted flakes in your land um, uh, shredded wheat which I think you have Weetabix which are like wheat biscuit things or something but I think in the end we pretty much have the same kinds of things just with different names yeah and Americans in your accents I don't really have an opinion because um, I don't know yeah I don't know because I spend most of my time with an American so the American accent is just kind of in me oh so like it doesn't seem odd to me anymore and I mostly watch American shows so yeah if anything I'm more familiar with the American accent than I am with the British accent blimey gov and the only real opinion I have on Americans in general is I guess just well not the people I don't know no I don't really know America as a whole I kinda don't like in some ways but then you could say the same about any country or anything like I don't agree with some of the laws and the ways of life and stuff and it's also kinda scary that you have guns in your houses for self defense obviously I know but blah scared of guns oh it's gone on too long stupid questions take forever next person Sav P as in savvy but instead of E it's P yeah if Nicholas Sarkozy and Sharon Osbourne had a sword fight who would win I don't know who Nicholas Sarkozy is but I know who Sharon Osbourne is and I don't like her no offense to her or anyone who does like her I don't know it's just something about her style or something I don't know and I don't know who Nicholas Sarkozy is but he would probably win because <clears throat> I can't think of many people I don't know I'm gonna look him up just to find out in case he's a real silly person Nicholas Sar Sarkozy he's getting cozy who's that? is that the guy who did the voice of um, Hades? a French politician oh what? not a politician well I don't know anything about French politicians and 
this wiki about him is just far too long, so I don't know. I don't know. Neither of them would win. They were both... Their swords would collide, and they would implode into each other, or something. Yeah. But if I had to choose... I don't know. I would flip a coin. Next person. Hamish or Hamish? I'm not sure. Hamish124. How often do you spend a week on making and playing games for, vid for, vid for videos? Because you upload a lot. Well, it varies massively, really. When I record... When I record... Wait. Yeah, it's not so much time a week. Time spent a week. It's more like time spent in a session. Because when I record, I tend to record for hours. So I get a lot of videos. Then again, sometimes I don't. I don't know. But yeah, it varies massively to give a an accurate answer, really. Like, sometimes I'll record for maybe 10 hours a week or something. Sometimes I won't record any. Sometimes I'll record 2 hours a week. But basically, when I do record, I record a lot, so they get built up over time. And I can upload them forever. And my voice is going, so I'm actually going to finish this later. I guess this will make one video for now. Ugh. Thanks for listening. Tune in next time.